All right, Debbie. So we're trying to start it again today. We're going to talk about um, why I dropped out of college to focus on internet marketing full time. So I had an audio issue issue earlier. Can you let me know if you can hear me now? So uh, I don't even know what's going on, to be honest with you guys. Let's see. Something weird is happening with this live stream. Having a lot of issues with this over the last two days. Uh, so with that said, can you guys hear me? And I, I know this is kind of probably not a good video right now because I'm like pretty much talking to, to nothing. Uh, so test one, two, three, test, 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 test. I can hear you. Yes. All right. All right. So we're back. All right. So I, I was freaking out there for a minute. I thought maybe like, you know, something bad was happening. Uh, all right. So today we're talking about whether or not you should drop out of college. If it's for you, do you even need to do it to be an entrepreneur? All right. So we're more up the stream here. We got Ryan Smith just said that he checked his Amazon and he got more sales. Congrats, Ryan Smith. Well done, sir. Uh, can you leave a, a testimony on my page, on my Facebook page? Here it is. All right, so what's up, everybody? We're gonna start in just a minute. We had some technical issues with uh, the audio. For some reason, it wasn't showing up. So let me just do some shout outs here, see what's going on. So we got Jerome Crabtree says, Dan Brock is my hero. Thank you, doing what I can. Uh, Natalia Fabi just gives me some hearts. It's awesome. Give me that love, baby. Marco, what's up? Ryan, uh, Ryan's on. Thanks for leaving the testimonial. Glad you're making sales. Uh, we got Encore. We got Natalia. We got Kurt. Uh, we got Insomniac the Resistance. That's an interesting name. We got Hey, I, uh, I'm Aaron 96 Paula, Jacob. If you want to drop to uh, just go to the training, we're going to start at about the three-minute mark. I don't even know what the time the time rate is on this because the stream is all messed up. Okay, let's see, we got Biz Bazita, that's a cool name, Beta Designs, how's it going? Jacob, Michael, we got Farhan, we got, um, we got Sa Santosh, we got Shah Shaheed, Jamie. All right, so it looks like we're working. We're gonna start, we're gonna start the stream now. So, do, should you go to college um, if you wanna be an entrepreneur? So what age is everyone right now? Just curious, who's who's in the in the younger age? Is probably why uh, a good amount of people. This looks like it might be a very niche topic here. How old is everybody? Just curious. You you didn't know? Says hey Dan, just uh, first time here. Love your stuff. Bought your course. Made my first sale. Good job. Okay, eighteen. We got twenty one. Uh, we got twenty four, seventeen, sixteen, twenty two. All right, so we got some people in the age of college, college range there. So should he go, should he not go? So what, let me just give you a backstory here. So I started a web hosting company when I was in high school uh, and I decided to go to college along with it. Reason why is because I, at the time I thought that, you know, it'd be a complimentary thing. Like I like doing businesses. It makes sense to go to college to learn about business. Now, when I went in, I realized that the, really the college business courses weren't for me. Reason why is because with online business, it's very cutting edge stuff. I mean, the, the books that, that I was being taught in, in college, the classes I were taking, were all like these old school fundamental ideas like how to respond to an email, how to write a business plan, um, how to handle customer dis, dis, uh, support disputes. All of these things I already learned kind of intuitively from starting my own business on my own. So it was clear to me that uh, for me, the, the type of entrepreneur that I wanted to come, become, uh, you know, college just wasn't for me. So as an entrepreneur, I think that uh, if you want to start your own business, there's kind of two ways to go about it. If you want to be in charge, so to speak. One way is to build it from the ground up, or the other way is to kind of work your way into an organization and work your way up the food chain. So when you go to school, they teach you this other route. Basically, you, you weasel your way into a corporation and you use the little tactics and a lot of crap that they teach you in college to eventually work your way up the management chain and maybe someday become in charge. So uh, that personally, I'm not that type of person. I always like to create things. I'm a creator, uh, a risk taker, and um, I, I just knew college just was not right for that. So if you're the free thinking type, I don't really think college is right for you. Now, if you want to start your own online business, you kind of the way you learn, the way you succeed is you is you study a lot of different things. And there is no, there is real, really no step-by-step -step blueprint. I mean, there are some, like my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. You can get, uh, you know, all kinds of training courses out there. But the key to, to making money online on your own is discovering tactics and new things that people haven't done um, in the past. So you do this by taking uh, input from different types of data sources. That could be 
one course about email marketing, one course about uh, you know affiliate marketing, one course about e-commerce. By continually learning and getting different data points, your brain has a real unique ability of like putting together this unique plan. So college, you're not going to learn how to do that. College is more about step-by-step, -step, linear, very linear style of learning. Now, granted, there were, when I look back, there were some skills I probably would have wished that I learned while I was in college, like how to network. But I figured out how to do that on my, on my own uh, just by doing it. So, so going back to the story of college, I was in college. Um, I was being taught by someone who didn't, never started a business before. Uh, and, and I just could tell by the, the way she was teaching, she didn't know what she was talking about. So I was like, you know what? All, all the courses here do not relate to internet marketing at all. So I just don't think it's for me. So I decided to burn the bridges. So by burn the bridges, I mean, I, I decided right then and there, there I, I was just going to go out on my own, be fully in charge of this uh, running my own businesses and kind of go all in with that. So for me, dropping out after two years was like my way of saying right there in my life that I'm never going to college. I'm never going to take that route. So I don't think it's for you if you're, um, if you're a self-learner, if you like to learn, learn on your own and you like to to spot opportunity and go after it. I don't think it's for you. All right. So with all that said, I know that was, uh, there was no, this is not a cohesive lesson today. I just want to talk about quick, a, quick, a few quick points there. Uh, basically where I'm going with this, as far as our online marketing is concerned, I don't really think college is going to give you that much of an advantage. Now, if, if you want to start and manage like thousands of people or hundreds of people, maybe that's worthwhile to you. I don't know. But as far as being the entrepreneur, the idea seeker, the idea creator, I think that you're best off on your own, learning books on your own, reading books, learning books, reading books on your own, and kind of coming up with your own thoughts. All right, man, I just didn't, I didn't really deliver that correct. I'm a little, I'm still a little bit sick from that that conference I went to. So with that said, let's just jump into Q and A. We'll talk about affiliate marketing today. Uh, if you have any questions, anything like that, let's see what's going on. Uh, so, Beta Design says you're my inspiration. I ain't going to no college. All right, so this is a decision you're gonna have to make on your own. I mean, I don't want you to send me an email four years from now and say your life is ruined because you, you listened to me and you didn't go to college. For me, it was the right decision. I look back, like I look at all my friends who went to college, they decided to take that route. I make way more money than them. They're not even in the same like stratosphere. So for me, it was it was a good decision. Now I'm wired that way. I'm wired that way to uh, think on my own. I don't really follow plans very much. I just kind of come up with my own thoughts. So that's my skill. It might not be for you. So if you have those skills, maybe it's uh, you know something you want to do. Volume Max says, I'm paying 20, 12K a year and I'm feeling like they're just scamming us. It just depends on your major. Now that's, uh, for business, I don't think you want to go to college for business. Now if you're doing something like, um, you know, becoming a lawyer, maybe that's worth it. I don't know about being a lawyer, but uh, you know, a doctor, engineer, you're definitely gonna have to go to college for that. But as far as starting your own business is concerned, I think it's not the right thing as far as internet marketing. Now, if you want to, the, there's a flip side to that. If you want to start your own programming company, maybe it might be worthwhile for you to go learn some programming. So it's kind of a, a, a give or take here. Okay. Let's see here. Corporate finance. Oh my God. Kill me now. Finance is a good skill to have though. Let's see here. Joe Topping, how's it going? Let's see. How, so Far, Farhan says how to build an audience. So what you need to do is just pick a platform, see what people in your niche are doing, it's what kind of content they're delivering, um, and, and just replicate it. It's really that easy. So what I, basically what I do is I'll look at my top 10 people in any traffic source. I'll kind of create, uh, I'll see exactly what's working for them, and I'll formulate my own my own strategy for it. So that's always worked for me. It, it's a, it does require, again, some out of the box thinking there. So you're not gonna be able to go to college to learn that one. <laughs> All right, so Kevin McGuire, what's, go, what's up? Kevin says he made one. What'd you make? Let's see. Uh, Giga G says, how do you research the best niches? Um, what I do is I look at the top selling products on, on net, different networks like Amazon, ClickBank. Now see, where, uh, you know, what's selling well, and I will use that kind of as a starting point. Then I will go into the various keyword tools and dig through the different keywords that people type in and see how those are doing. So that's always, uh, that's how I start with it. Let's 
let's see here. <clears throat> Encore says, I'm going to South Africa and it's not worth it. I go to college because there aren't very many jobs available here. So I go to college overseas. So, um, yeah, that's the kind of like the problem. Now that we have this, what do they call it, globalization, things are being outsourced, all the jobs are going away. So that's another issue with college. As far as I'm concerned, if you want to thrive in this, uh, this time, Becoming an entrepreneur is definitely what you need to do. At least you need to have some kind of entrepreneurial skills. One of the, a few of those big things are promotion, getting people to buy your stuff, getting people to, people's attention. Those are like the big three skills. So these are all skills you hone in over time. Let's see. Jack Pack says, how do you get a higher conversion rate for Amazon? Uh, pr providing uh, user testimonials as far as like going to your what you can do is you can contact the vendor and ask them for any testimonials that's something I've done in the past another thing is that I actually will review the product just kind of go through it on video sometimes that that seems to help a lot a video can double your conversion rate it's worth it I know people are a little bit of afraid to get on camera but it's worth a little bit of out of the you know getting out of your comfort zone to do that Jake Pack says Amazon's on its way to become the first trillion dollar, dollar business and their commission rates are awful. Yeah, so you want to focus on higher price point products. In my opinion, that just gives you a little bit more commissions. It's worth it. Uh, or you can find third party affiliate programs. Author Leslie says, do I, author, uh, Arthur Leslie says, do I still use Market Samurai? I've not used that in a while. I use Longtail Pro. AZ, this is a good question. AZ World says, "Do you be, so? Do you believe in luck? Because there are a lot of people that have dropped out of college and didn't didn't succeed. In your opinion, what's their mistake?" Um, you know, there over the, the many many years I've been running businesses, there have definitely been lucky moments that have helped boost my business. But by and large, every, everything that's made me money consistently, I've done purposely. You know, it's not like I was just like, oh, here's some money, ha ha, I'm rich now. It's, it's I, I trained, I learned, I observed, and I, I took action quickly. And, and that's really what's gonna make you successful. The, there's nothing else, that's it. I mean, there, it's all part of that. Now luck, it definitely comes into play, but the more that you do stuff, the more lucky you, more lucky you get. Now I've never been like one day I woke up and there's a, a million, I got lucky and made a million dollars. Like it doesn't work that way. There's not, unless you win the lottery, that's the only way. So the reason why those people don't succeed is because they probably drop out of college and just like smoke weed all day. That's, I'm gonna bet that's 99% of the, the, uh, what's happening. They just drop out of college and they don't know what to do. So just sit around, smoke weed, and watch TV all day, let life, life pass them by. Uh, so now that doesn't mean you can't fail. I mean, I've, personally, I've failed several times. And when I mean fail, I mean really mess up. It's, um, and that's not a good feeling. Like, that's going to happen. So, yeah. Let's see. Affiliate Marketing MC says, got to take deliberate action. Great advice. Yep has to be deliberate. Let's see here. T Joe Topping says that would be a good idea if you had a weed blog. That's actually a, a, um, a big niche, marijuana. <laughs> uh, Kristen Heck Keck says, uh, uh, Dan, I'm trying to purchase your Debbie Super Affiliate system, but I, I keep getting an error. Usually, the reason for that is your credit card doesn't match the zip code that's on file for that card. So if you're getting an error, just go to, to my site, debbiesuperaffiliate.com, maybe try a different time or just double check the, the order time, uh, the, 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 um, the zip code. Adrian Gonzalez says, why the same clothing? This is just, you know, my deadbeat, you know, like, check this out. Just got this bad boy in today. I'm gonna make a video about that. <laughs> that's my brand. Uh, let's see here. Um, and, and let's see here, Dan, what do you use to stay ahead of what's new in affiliate marketing techniques and entrepreneurship overall? So the way I stay ahead is I constantly learn. Like I am lazy work-wise, I'm, I'm lazy uh, 
but I always am looking for new things. Like I'm always just watching. So that's uh, by, by watching. I'm always seeing like what's doing well. Uh, you know, like just seeing what's what's going on, what's working right now. Uh, so yeah, I always do that no matter what. When I'm not working, I'm at least watching. <laughs> People like really like this thing. That's funny. I just posted an image image of this on Facebook. People are like, look at that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. uh, I don't even know what that thought that was a good idea. Um, let's see here. Dude, MD Shahan, you're spamming me up, dude. I, like It makes me not want to answer your question, especially with the commands. Uh, let's see. So Far Farhan says, how do you get traffic to YouTube? Same way you get traffic anywhere else. You got to focus on what's working. Uh, look at the, the 10 things that are working in, in that particular to topic. Uh, Ar Armand, Armand View, send an email and we just got a new version of Traffic Blaster. I gotta, I gotta send a link to that. We just got a new version that had the, the had, has the, uh, the fix. There was an issue with a couple of APIs in there. Send an email, I'll get you the link. Let's see here. Uh, what was I saying? So how do you get traffic to YouTube? You just look at what the top ten channels, or at least the top three channels in your, in your. Uh, in your niche and figure out what's working with them. Look at their top performing videos. See if you can make your own version of it. That's typically what I do in every market that I enter into. I look at what's working, see how I can do it myself. Intro Vidal says, name your price for the action figure. Um, man, it's, I, I thought it'd be easy to get these mass produced. It's not. These are, it's, uh, I wanted to sell them for like 50 bucks, but they're just really expensive. That's the problem. So I don't know what to do with this yet. I might try to the, right now it's like this hard ceramic material. I might try to, but I might try to, um, you know, get this done in plastic. Okay. Holo, holo guru, holo, uh, oh man, what a hard name to say. Hula Gramo says, I just bought your Debbie Super Affiliate Program, enjoying it so far, do you think will ever be irrelevant? Not really. There might be. You're gonna have to adapt. Like I've adapted the system over the years. It's uh, what I, what's in there right now is what's working. It changes, but I think it's the foundation principles are pretty pretty consistent. Like you're gonna be good. Okay. Uh, Marcus says, "Will I have the new traffic blaster if I purchase today?" Uh, yes. I'm just I'm gonna update the links today. I'm a little behind that 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 uh. The conference I went to really took it out of me. I don't know what it was. I think it was the food. Like, I've just been freaking sick for the past, like, three days. Uh, Kur Kurahano says, tomorrow there will be a 70% dropout rate. What's that? Oh, thanks to Dan Brock. Oh, about the college thing. Yeah, guys, don't just go out. Uh, don't send me an email four years from now and be like, Dan Brock, you ruined my life. Uh, that's what I did. I, bur I burnt the bridges. For me, it made sense just to go all in with the internet business. Uh, that's what, I, that's what I did. I don't know. Maybe it's not, not, not for you. I don't know what, I don't know what type of learner you are. You have to be a self starter. You have to be self disciplined for sure. If you don't have that. Maybe school might be better for you. Nicola. Okay. This is a good question. Nicol Nikolai, I think is a your name said, would it be clever starting your own affiliate marketing career, doing some niche that might not be the most popular, but is for example, related to one of your hobbies. So if your hobby is something like creepy and weird that no one else cares about, I, I would say not to do that. But if it's a popular hobby, I would say go into it. Like, what is the hobby that you're talking about? Is it some, something weird? <laughs> Sounds like it might be something weird. Franklin says, I need a miracle. That's up to you, dude. Like, there is no such thing as miracles. I hate to break it. Like, you're going to have to, you, that's the only miracle you're going to get is if you just nut up and, I can't believe I just said that. You just nut up and do it yourself. That's the only only thing that's gonna happen. That's the truth. That's the way it works. There is no one else. There is no miracle out there for you. Uh, Kurt says that I didn't drop out of school. I went all the way to PhD. Good for you, dude. That's like a that's quite an accomplishment. Like a PhD is serious work. Uh, I'm a deadbeat because passive revenue is my goal. Yeah, so it just depends on what you want to do. For me, making money, passive income is always for me. You don't, you don't learn that in college. Hey, I'm Aaron says, only miracle you're going to get is to nut up. Wise words. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, here's a good question. Edward says, in my Deadbeat Super affiliate system, what's the best ratio for affiliate reviews to free content? I always follow like a, uh, eight, uh, what do they call it, 80-20 rule. Even better if you do 90-10. Best cookbook says, "Hey Dan, your Deadbeat website video was very funny. Thank you. I put that was you know, that was a ton of work. It really was. It didn't look like it, but that that was like weeks of work. Um, make money automated. That system is, is that system included in the training? Yeah. So everything's included for seventeen bucks. Armand says, "Why didn't you upload the last full live stream video? Let me see. I'll have to, let me. I'll post that today. I'm just catching up, guys. I got back from this conference. It's messed me up really bad. I, I never." I've been to a lot of events. This one, like, I've been sick for three weeks. So, I mean, let me just try to get, I'm, I'm, com I'm coming back to life right now. Uh, let me see what I can do. <laughs> uh, Biz, -Z, uh, Biz Z Diva says, I'm in college. You learn to be the CEO's passive income. Yeah, exactly. Basically, you go to college to learn how to, to do stuff for other people. Joe Topping says, what conference was it? It was... Uh, Marketing Summit Orlando. I sent an email. Uh, I mean, I said I put it, put some pictures on my Facebook about that. Uh, uh, RWMMA says, "Am I still early enough for the Xmas rush? If I get my site up within a week from now, you're cutting it close. You might be able to pull it off. You might be able to get there in time. But the Christmas rush, Christmas rush starts in beginning of November. So you want to. Uh, you're, it's going to take you at least a month to start getting in there." Uh, MD Shahan says, please tell me how to get traffic to my site. It's been a week and I'm not able to get money. Dude, it's going to, like I said, a week is nothing. Like this isn't a job. You're not going to just be like, oh, I just put in work and I'm getting paid next week. Like you could do, there's totally a chance that you could spend months and not get paid for months later. That's just the way starting your own online business works. So if you're freaking out, it's been a whole week. Um, I think you just need to calm down a little bit. Man, I am grumpy. I am so grumpy when I feel sick. Uh, I, I think you're just like a little, oh. You just got to get to just calm down a little bit. I know, it's, I know it's scary when you're first starting. I apologize for like kind of, uh, you know, because I remember how it was. It's not fun. But this is like part of overcoming that. So just calm down a little bit. Keep doing stuff. All right. Joe Topping says, I saw you on Brandon Mace's video. Yeah, that was a funny video. Jacob says it's, a, it's the mindset you have to understand. You have to work hard. If you have no money, get a job, live below your means, and invest the hundred you need. See, that's good. That's good advice. You, you, working hard initially is what you have to do. Like right now, I've I've, I've done this for so much. I know exactly what's going to make me make me money. Now, granted, like it doesn't always work out, but I'd say nine out of ten times, I, I, I'm pretty laser focused. Like I can tell every every bit of effort that I put in, I know is going to at least make me money. So but at first it wasn't like that. So I had to really hammer it out. And in the process of hammering it out, you know exactly what works, what doesn't. Nikki Boone says, am I going to Vid Summit? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to that. If I, if I ever get better, man, my, like my stomach has just been like in knots. I've been like pooping everywhere. <laughs> I don't think you guys all know that, but uh, yeah. How many, uh, T, TMG says, how many times does the average entrepreneur fail before succeeding with their business? I've seen some guys kill it right off the bat. Like I know people that, you know, their, their idea of failure is just like a month worth of, uh, of not doing too well and then they just take off. So they, they, they're, it's always in the mindset though, their mind was very clear. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't luck though. Now I'm sure there's a little bit of elements of luck, but um, that's, the luck is just a small, small percentage. Nikki Boone says, Vid Summit, are you going? Yes, I'm, I'm going. I'm just, um, uh, I already bought my ticket. I'm just kind of not with it right now. So I'm probably going to go. just depends. Yes, you can meet me. You can meet me there. Just don't like do any, don't, don't, don't like kill me or anything, please. <laughs> uh, that, that was just a joke. Uh, how long did it take to get the 94 subscribers? Adrian says, uh, yeah, how, many, how long to get the 94? I don't know. It's been like a year. When did I start this? It was in like January, I think, last year. So somewhere, was that like a month and a half, a year and a half? Corey Klein says, I didn't have success until I stopped half-assing things. Yeah, exactly. So most beginners come in and they're just like, uh, you need to really go in. You need to be like, 
bah, 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 at first. Sir Lancer, uh, let's see. More clients MMA says, I think you probably have the best system and the price you can't beat. Thank you. I did price it low for, I wanted to kind of give like a nice mass market thing. Probably a little bit too low, but that's all right. Matthew says, do you think someone in the military can do this type of work? Absolutely. Actually, I think the work ethic from people with military is, uh, in the military is super high. So I, I've seen a lot recently, a lot of people getting, a lot of military people getting into the industry. They're doing pretty well. So that, that like drive is going to, is going to, and that's, that skill of that drive is going to help you. I think you're going to have to you know, focus it in a different way though. Corey Klein says the harder you work, the luckier you get. Yeah, exactly. Armand says, is it good to connect your domain with WordPress for free hosting? You could, you could do that, but you gotta be able to make sure that they, you can back it up the backup. Edward says, how much is the new course going to be? It's $500. It's freaking insane. Almost, I'm getting, I'm, I'm hoping to get it out in middle October. We're going to see. It, it's, it, it's, it turned out to be more work than I thought it would, but that's okay. Like, I want it to be really badass. Jamie says, how much is your affiliate course? My W Super Affiliate System right now is $17. I mean, there's a link below. In the, in the description. Faint, this is a good question. I get this a lot. I should make a video about this. Uh, what, uh, is it fine that you don't own or use the, the product that you're advertising? You can do that. But what I recommend you do is, um, is get the product. They'll just give you better insight. Uh, more clients says, what's the new course? It's about basically YouTube using YouTube and I'm gonna have a section there about email marketing and some advanced stuff. It's, it's John says new course will teach free traffic. It's yeah, it's all, it's all it's free traffic still. Ryan Smith says Debbie super affiliate system is easy to follow and awesome. Thank you. I, uh, I don't even know how long we got, how long we've been on right now. Has it been like a good amount of time? So I got, I'm getting a lot of reviews in, by the way, guys, just quick. I don't want, I don't want to harp on this too much because I've done it a lot. Um, I'm getting a lot of reviews. Let me just pop this up here. Hold on. There we go. So my, my little review thing on my, my Facebook page is just blowing up. A lot of people getting their first sales, got people making six figs. I'm just going to go through this real quick. I've already done it a bunch. People making their first sales. Greg Jeffries hit six figures. Um, here's his screenshot. A lot of people making like 500 a month. This guy's making, Mason Lee's doing about 100 to 200 a day. No, uh, Noime is, I think he's hitting three to 400 a day consistently on ClickBank, all following my Deadbeat Super Affiliate system. So just got a bunch of new ones in today. We've got uh, someone made their first sale, 21 bucks, which is a pretty decent commission. That's it. like commission for 21 bucks. You can definitely scale that up. Uh, Jamie made us, he texted me today. He just sent me, he just made his first sale. I've been talking to him on Facebook. So where is it? Let me see him right here. He was just so pumped. Um, I know how that feels. For I remember that first sale, even to this day, the first sales are just like a godsend. All right, so that's that, that's that. I don't want to go that too far in that. Let's see here. Twenty we're twenty seven minute, minutes in. Let's see. Okay. Here's a good question. R R W M M A says the SEO pu uh, publishing method you recommend in the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Does it work if I'm in the German market? So to make that work in the German market, you're going to have to uh, actually focus on German backlinks. So you're gonna get German backlinks. Get a .de domain name also to go along with it. So that's gonna help Google just sign to to. Uh, to, to categorize your site. Uh, Kristen Keck says, do you recommend to outsource the content for beginners who are not a native English speaker? So, uh, that's, that's a tough one. I always, that, that's, that's like a weird scenario. Uh, you're gonna, I guess technically that's what you're going to have to do. But the problem is, is you're not going to really know what is good content because of that. 
So uh, you're kind of like, I would recommend doing the outsourcing to just, you're probably gonna make a lot of mistakes in the beginning, so be, be prepared to, to pay out some money. RWMMA R- says I already got the .com. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. So if you wanna get the German, try to get some .de domains. Ditch Sugar says I get some conflicting info from you about PBNs and backlinks. Basically just, uh, he's reading different on the Warrior Forum, just focus on manual gigs. Manual gigs. That's the best way to go. Don't Just don't do the spammy, the st- spammy stuff. Let's see here. Here's a good question. Uh, AZ World says, how can I find entrepreneur minder, uh, entrepreneur, this is a good question. So he says, how can I find entrepreneur minded people in my country? They are hard to find, but for what should I research? So check out sites like meetup.com, check out charity events. Those always typically have like-minded people there. Conferences in your area, meetup.com has smaller things that you can do. I recommend that. Um, it's good just to be around entrepreneurs. It really, it makes you feel good. Uh, be, it's good to be around dreamers. It's not it's not good to be around a bunch of like static, stagnant, stagnant people. So it has a benefit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little. I'm just. I'm just messed up. It's been. I've just been like out of it the past three days. Jester's coin says, "How much would you expect to spend if you outsource your content for an entire niche site?" About $150 to get to get it up and running, to start getting traffic, making your money, making some profit there. Let's see here. Sean, how's it going? Sean just jumped in. Uh, Corey Klein says, "Crucial to be around. It's crucial to be around entrepreneurs. Being around a forty-hour work week, ham and eggers. I don't know. That's a weird expression. I've never heard that before. Uh, will leave you unfulfilled. Exactly. It's a very like, those people just uh, the, not entrepreneurs are always very like limited-minded. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe them. They're just so skeptical, limited mindset." And they have a way of bringing you down. As an entrepreneur, you need to be like, you need to be a conqueror. And those people will just drag you down. Okay. Armand says, will I visit India in the future? Probably not. Um, That's far away. That's a a bit far away to go. Uh, RWMMA says, do I, do I, uh, do I just get a problem with getting ranked with a .com site? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Yeah, Corey Clients has very limiting beliefs, exactly. Arthur says, do you have a standard PDF that you provide to give your guidelines to an outsourcer? Yeah, I have that in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Um, There's a script that you can use. That's how I, I use that script to get like doctors to write content for me. Real ones, like licensed ones, for cheap too. No, it's not, it's not, it's expensive, but not insanely, insanely expensive. Uh, Eshwar says, I'm 31. I dropped out of high school, then did the 12th grade privately and enrolled in charter accounting. In the first year, my calculator failed me big time. That sucks, dude. Um, so the. Eshwar says, I've dropped out right there and began scouting for biz ops, and here I am making $3,000, hands-free, and boring. He's trying to get into the Amazon, uh, Amazon affiliate program. Okay. Ish Beat says, question, after I purchase your affiliate program tomorrow, and I dedicate a few hours every day, on average, do you think it would take, how long for me to take to launch the, your system? You should be able to get your first site up in like two hours, so at least the... Uh, 
at least the at least the 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 framework for the site you can get that up in two to three hours with a little bit of a little bit of effort if you really want to do well that's going to take you at least a week to to build that site out and chances are just to be honest with you the first one or two sites is probably not going to um not going to pan out that's just the way it works now i'm not saying that's not always with the case though i mean I just got people saying they make their first money on um on first site all right guys i think i'm gonna go uh i, I, I think about i'm like gonna puke or something here <laughs> I've just been so sick. So uh, I'm, I'm going to head out. I'm going to try to do a live stream tomorrow. Um, I, I literally feel like I'm going to puke right now. And they don't want to hear that. So with all that said, my name is Dan Barak, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate. Tune in tomorrow. I'm going to hopefully, I'll, I'm getting better. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be like full force, full in action. So my name is Dan Barak, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified of any videos that I release when I release them. Time for me to take a long nap. Mini. Many deadbeats going along with me. Here we go.